the male breast can produce milk. I know it sounds crazy, but let me explain everything. Everyone knows that men's breasts are very different in structure from women's, and they differ first and foremost in their functionality. However, it has been scientifically proven that male breasts can produce milk under certain extreme conditions. To do so, significant chemical processes must take place in a man's body. For example, in the case of serious illnesses, when medications are taken that significantly affect the body's processes, the level of estrogen, a hormone typically associated with women, can increase significantly. As a result, in rare and extreme cases, male breasts may secrete milk. If you didn't expect it, please like it. Men need to use the toilet much less frequently than women, especially when it comes to urinating. If you observe a group of people on a bus ride, you will notice that women tend to stop more frequently. This is due to the fact that the bladder of a woman is typically smaller than that of a man. Men can consume more fluid and still go to the bathroom less frequently. Cellulite is also not a concern for men as only 15% of men suffer from it, compared to 85% of women on the contrary have do. Women have more fat in their bodies and women have thinner skin, which makes cellulite shows up more visible. Men often don't smell very well. This is less common in women, and there is a scientific explanation for this. It's not because someone washes more often or uses more perfume, it's because of the hair. Men have a lot more hair than women. Those types of bacteria that cause unpleasant odors stick to hair more actively. But this is just one reason. Hair also prevents sweat from evaporating, which the body produces. All this leads to an unpleasant smell. Fortunately, regular showers solve this problem. To understand how much hair a man has, it's enough to know there are about 15,000 hairs in his beard alone. The ideal male body 150 years ago looked like this. It was very different from the standards that exist today in popular culture. There were no muscles, pumped up abs, or outstanding biceps. On the contrary, fullness spoke of well-being and a high position in society in the late 19th century and early 20th century in the USA and Europe. This was because food was much less affordable 150 years ago than it is today. Because of this, extra weight gave status. Person could afford more. In the 1930s, largely due to Hollywood's influence, the standards for male beauty began to change quickly. Being overweight was not cool. The ideal body in the 30-40s also didn't have impressive muscles. Most of the famous actors of that time clearly did not spend their days without going to the gym. This was until the 1960s when, in the wake of rock and roll popularity and the rise of hippies, the ideal male body started to look very different. Thinness and a lack of muscle mass were prominent features of that era. A large number of famous performers from that time, from John Lennon to Mick Jagger, were skinny and wore their hair long. After 20 years, the situation changed radically, and in the 80s, the main characters were pumped up actors like Schwarzenegger, Stallone, or Van Damme. It was only in the 90s that bodybuilding and fitness clubs became fashionable, so an outstanding set of muscles became an integral attribute of the ideal male body. Scientists regularly conduct surveys trying to find out which standards of the male or female body are considered the standard at one time or another. According to these surveys, men today no longer need to have the same muscle mass as Schwarzenegger. According to surveys in recent decades, most men and women have noted that they consider the ideal body to be the shape of Brad Pitt from the movie Fight Club, that is, a fit, slender man while possessing emphasized muscles. And another secret of the male body is that it is much easier for men to gain muscle mass than it is for women. This is due to the much higher levels of testosterone in a man's body, which helps to build muscle. By the way, please share in the comments which you consider the ideal body for a man. Let's see which one is most popular. If you are a man, then, for sure there have been situations in your life where, when you were stressed you threw an object against the wall or floor with all your strength or for example, hit a table or other surface with your fist. Women on the other hand rarely do this as they react differently to stress. So such manifestations of aggression on the part of men are not accidental. Some scientists call testosterone the reason for this. When this hormone is injected into animals in laboratories, they also begin to behave more aggressively. And as you know, testosterone levels in men are much higher than in women. 
That is why the desire to throw an object against a wall appears among representatives of the stronger genital more often. However, in nature, everything has a purpose. Testosterone helps men build more muscle mass. Thousands of years ago, this larger muscle mass and increased aggression allowed men to survive in difficult environments, protect their families, and obtain food. However, as a result of this increased level of aggression, men are also responsible for most violent crimes. Around the world, most prisoners are men, while only about 10 to 15% are women. As I said, men's skin of men is much thicker on average than women's by 20 to 25%. This causes another big injustice. Men's skins ages more slowly because they have more collagen. Collagen is a substance that makes the skin look dense and elastic the skin looks. With age, its amount of this substance decreases significantly, causing the skin to become very thin and wrinkles to appear. However, due to the fact that women take better care of their skin during their lifetime, so the initial difference between men and women is almost invisible. Men and women see the world differently. And no, this is not about philosophical issues of world perception. The sight of men and women functions differently. The female eye perceives colors and their shades more accurately. That is why where a woman sees four different colors, a man sees them all as the same. This is because there are significantly fewer cones, or simply retinal cells, in the retinas of a man's eyes. Women's superpower to distinguish shades of red is particularly well-developed. Some scientists believe this is why so many women love red lipstick, dresses, and cars. However, men's vision has its benefits. For example, thanks to evolution, they perceive moving objects more accurately. This was essential for their survival thousands of years ago. I have already told you that men are more likely than women to have an unpleasant smell. In part, this may be because many representatives of the stronger half of humanity simply don't notice it. To make a man's nose smell any odor, the concentration of the odor in the air needs to be much higher than what is required for a woman's sense of smell. Scientists are not entirely sure why this is, but it has been suggested that it may be related to female hormones, as women lose this ability to a large degree in adolescence and older age. If you see a man in light clothes on the street in winter, then it is most likely a man. This is because the male body is much better adapted than the female body to tolerate negative temperatures. The reason for this is that men have more impressive muscle mass. Therefore, a man's body is forced to burn more calories for muscle work and, as a result, generate more heat. This heat is trapped by clothing and, among other things, creates an invisible warm layer of air on top of the skin. That is, the male body works as a kind of heater for itself. Women, because of their lower muscle mass, give birth much faster and tend to wear warmer clothes, as well as use heaters more often. In order to build muscle mass and reduce the amount of fat, you need proper nutrition and exercise regardless of gender. However, men need much less effort than women to make their biceps bigger and their body fat percentage lower. This happens for two reasons. Higher testosterone levels help men gain muscle mass faster. Also, metabolic processes occur much faster in the male body than in the female body. Men can lose weight much faster. Men even in a sitting position burn a lot of calories. Some parts of the body in men can change color with age. First of all, I mean the area below the waist. This may be partly due to the fact that blood circulation worsens with age, so less blood flows to certain limbs. This directly affects the change in color. Also, various spots can appear on the body with age and can change the color of certain areas. Alas, not the most pleasant news for men is that their sexual organ may decrease with age. The good news is that this happens only very rarely. On average, the decrease in old age is only about a centimeter. This is because the amount of testosterone decreases with age and blood circulation in the body slows down. Brushing your teeth regularly is more important for men than for women. This is because gum diseases, which can occur due to poor hygiene, can also potentially affect not only the health of the oral cavity, but also other organs such as the heart, joints, and joints. Several studies have shown that this is the case. More than a thousand people were involved in these studies, 
and those who were diagnosed with periodontal disease and inflammation of the gums and bone supporting teeth also often had other health problems as well. Therefore, if you're a man or woman, it's important to brush your teeth at least twice a day to prevent gum disease and other serious health issues. You also remember that hair is the reason for unpleasant smell in men. Now, this is not the only reason. In fact, men's sweat and urine contain a hormone called androstenone, which is believed to be responsible for the smell. Animals, male mammals in particular, are believed to have been infected with this hormone in order to attract females. However, this aspect does not work the same way for humans. Some people do not perceive the presence of this hormone at all, while others smell it as vanilla or urine. Therefore, sometimes androstenone is the cause of unpleasant odor in males. A man's heart is, on average, larger than a woman's, and this is not related to the height of adults. It's just that some parts of the female heart are naturally smaller. This is not the only difference between men and women's hearts. For example, a man's heartbeat is slower than a woman's. However, at the same time, the stronger sex has more blood pumped in one contraction of the heart. Under stress, a woman's heart begins to beat faster first, and a man's blood pressure increases significantly. If you shave your beard more often, your hair will be thicker and denser. This is a common myth that many people have believed since their teenage years, when they shaved off their first mustache. If everything in the male body worked according to this principle, then the problem of hair loss would have been solved long ago. But in fact, the truth is that the longer the hair grows, the more its tips thin out. They also brighten under the influence of the sun. Logically, when you shave off your beard or trim your hair on your head, it starts to look denser and darker. In adolescence, many people believe in this myth because the process of body change is very fast and teenagers don't shave very often. Because of this, it seems that mustache grows luxuriantly every time, which is true, but shaving has nothing to do with this, it's just biology. Men snore much more often than women. Almost everyone knows this fact. However, not everyone understands the reason for this phenomenon. Snoring occurs due to vibrations of the soft tissues in the upper respiratory tract. There can be many reasons for these vibrations, including being overweight. Also, sleeping on your back can cause snoring. Snoring can also be caused by certain medications or old age. Anyway, if this problem is causing you or your loved one's inconvenience, consult a doctor. Medicine today successfully deals with snoring. Since protein is primarily needed for muscle building, a common myth has been born that protein should be consumed immediately after training, and the sooner the better. However, this misconception has repeatedly been refuted. Yes, the amount of protein is important for gaining muscle mass, but what matters is how much you consume on average per day, not when you consume it. Another myth, which is quite common for some reason, is that men don't need to wear sunscreen. Perhaps this misconception arises due to the fact that sunscreen is a cosmetic product and cosmetics are mainly produced and marketed for women. However, it's very dangerous to believe this myth because skin cancer is the most common cancer type. To prevent it, you need to use sunscreen. Even though prostate cancer is only second in frequency among men, it's important to remember to use sun protection when going to the beach or outside in the sun. Finally, another myth about men's health. Wearing caps and hats does not cause baldness. Some people think this because sunlight doesn't hit the head or the hat rubs against the head. But this is false. There can be many reasons for this, ranging from genetics to health conditions. Perhaps the myth was born due to the fact that balding men are much more likely to wear a headdress. In part, this is because, in the absence of hair, a headdress helps maintain a comfortable temperature. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking it. Also, if you would like to be notified of new videos, please subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon. Finally, feel free to leave a comment below to let me know what you thought of the video.